concept called as renin angiotensinogen angiotensin system so which is generally referred as ras system okay ras or sometimes it is also called as renin angiotensin system so this system involves the endocrine activity of kidney endocrine activity of kidney kidney as well as adrenal cortex so both are involved right so what is this all about so before we move on to the system exactly we are supposed to know the functions of an aldosterone Okay, so this this adrenal cortex, okay, will produce an hormone called as aldosterone, which is involved in this pathway. So, what is the function of aldosterone? It is to increase the water as well as sodium ion reabsorption. Okay, that right. blood volume i'll make it as bv blood volume as well as the sodium concentration in blood will increase this is the net effect which can which we can expect due to the effect of aldosterone so blood volume will be increased as well as sodium ion level will be increased so by mean if i uh, by you know the word reabsorption so i we, we mean that the absorption taking place in tubule so the initial absorption happens in intestine so this absorption happens in tubule so this is what is reabsorption so to summarize again in renin angiotensinogen angiotensin system it is in it, it involves both the endocrine aspect of kidney as well as adrenal cortex here the adrenal cortex will secrete actually the adrenal cortex has got three different zones each zone will secrete Or different hormone of which the hormone involved here is aldosterone. So when aldosterone is produced, it will increase the water as well as sodium reabsorption at the tubule. That means the blood volume as well as sodium ion level will increase. So this is all the basics. So now after listening to this, so what is this RAS system is? Okay, so we will start our discussion with that. So generally. assume that this is going to be the blood vessel which has got blood okay with a volume p now when there is a decrease in volume right less than v and before that you know this volume of blood is going to exert a pressure p now when there is going to be a decrease in blood volume proportionately pressure will also decrease this you can experience with the garden hose when you want to increase the pressure you increase the flow of water so you open the tap so the water flow will be more so the pressure will also simultaneously or proportionately will get increased right likewise more the volume okay more the pressure so i think i have actually i have to make this way right more the volume more pressure less the volume less pressure right So this is the another concept that we are supposed to understand before we start the RAS system. Okay. Now, now, when <clears throat> make it as a flow chart. Now, when blood volume. Decrease. So this is going to be the stimulus. So for, for any hormone, there should be a stimulus. So here the stimulus is going to be blood volume. When there is a decrease in blood volume, what happens? This results in decrease in blood pressure. Okay. So 
blood pressure will decrease. So why is that happen? So you have to refer my the, the concept that we have discussed few minutes before. So when BP decrease due to decrease in blood volume, what happens is this is going to stimulate a cell called as juxta glomerular cell. Okay, juxta glomerular cell which is present in kidney. Okay, in response to this stimulus, the juxta glomerular cells of kidney and you have to know here that the kidney has got an endocrine activity. Heart has got an endocrine activity, kidney has got an endocrine activity. So their main role is involved in excretion but they do have a part in endocrine uh, secretion, right? Hormone secretion. So this juxta glomerular cells, which is generally referred as JG cell, okay, juxta glomerular cell will be generally referred as JG cell will produce a hormone called as renin. R E N I N. So you have to mind the spelling. This is a renin with single N. Because in physiology, human physiology, we have two renin. So one which is involved in Digestive physiology, R-E-N-N-I-N and this is R-E-N-I-N. So this, this, that is an enzyme and this is a hormone. So this renin, what happens, it is going to convert, it is going to convert, uh, it helps in maturation of a protein called as angiotensinogen, which is generally produced in liver. produced in liver. So this angiotensinogen will be activated. So I cannot say it's a conversion, so the best word to use is activated to angiotensin 1. So this angiotensin 1 is further converted to angiotensin. So I write as A tensin, angiotensin which is active and this happens by an enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme which is normally found in lungs. So the final product of this cascade is angiotensin 2. Now what does this angiotensin 2? This angiotensin 2 is going to in turn increase the secretion of aldosterone. Right, and uh, because this, this angiotensin 2 is going to stimulate the adrenal cortex, zona glomerulosa is the layer which will produce this aldosterone. So, it is going to stimulate the aldosterone. Okay, so what happens by which aldosterone level will increase, and you know what aldosterone is going to do? Aldosterone will increase the water reabsorption. So, more water reabsorption. Okay, so when water reabsorption is increased, the blood volume, okay, the blood volume will be increased. So when blood volume will be increased, blood pressure will be restored. So the very beginning, okay, is that we have seen here is there is a decrease in blood volume with which the blood pressure decrease is associated, right? So due to that stimulus, only this entire uh, the sequence of events is happening. So finally, we have this blood pressure getting restored. So this is what is renin angiotensinogen angiotensin system. It's a very important thing. So this can be discussed in two contexts. One is the regulation of blood pressure. This pathway can be discussed. Other one is aldosterone. So aldosterone is mainly controlled by this RAS system. So Generally, you might think that adrenal cortex might be influenced by the hypothalamus pituitary axis. So, there is a hormone which is produced by PG, this pituitary gland, which is adrenocorticotropic hormone, which is otherwise called as corticotropin. So, corticotropin has got a very weak to nil influence on the aldosterone, whereas the other hormone, cortisol, is being highly regulated by the, or cortisol is under the influence of hypothalamus pituitary axis, whereas the Aldosterone is mainly controlled by the renin angiotensin or the angiotensin system pathway. So, again, you can discuss this with respect to, with respect to the 
blood pressure regulation as well as the regulation of aldosterone. Okay, so in case of any doubt, please do uh, mention it in your comment section. Please do subscribe okay, to this channel for getting more updates. And in case if you have any doubts, please let us know. We will be able to help you with another video or, the, uh, or somehow you know, to clarify your doubts. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much.